Hey, it's Jacob back with another video. This video, I'm going to be breaking down the EX Bullhorn for Birdie and when to use it. So, I'm going to start off with saying that I think the EX Bullhorn in this, in Season 2 Birdie, isn't that useful. I'm going to say it right now because basically the regular Bullhorn does the job better than the EX Bullhorn in certain situations where you would, yeah. since it has a three frame armor you use it in frame traps that the regular bullhorn will be able to beat because it shrinks the hitbox anyways so I'll explain a little further after you see what's happening well, I'm gonna do a couple frame traps with Karen and Armory in the frame traps and basically if you want to use it you can These are, this is when you can use it, I'm gonna show the frame traps when you can use it and I'm gonna explain why this isn't really useful to be using this <coughs> so I'm gonna go, go over it so what I use, it, it really depends on what I use. So if I don't have V-Trigger, I use um, Heavy Punch and Heavy Kick to charge it. So that I can be able to attack while I'm holding them down. Alright. Okay, see there. So it she can armor break my attack if she commits, if the camera player commits to the tanko. So, has to be very careful. Because I can punish, I can still punish while you hold the... the the V trigger basically, so you can attack at the same time. So you can't do it while you're what when you have V trigger, unless if you're blocking. If you're already blocking, you'll be in block zone, so you can use it. So you'll be able to attack. Yeah, but then you gotta be very quick with it. Which is kind of hard. Or that's gonna happen. They don't want that to happen. So the Karen commits that will happen, you know, sometimes you might trade if the Karen doesn't do it exactly, you know, like that. But most Karens when they see that you're blocking won't commit to it like that. So you don't really have to worry, you can still use armor. Or a Karen could just sit back, Most sometimes Karens sit back after they do a crouch in medium for the first time. Because they're first going to see what you're going to do. Since it's slow on startup, even if they're moving forward, they most likely won't get hit by it because it has slow startup. So, let's say she's, she's doing this. Oh. She's still having enough time. Even if she walks up, she'll see that it started. Or the camp player will see that it started. Yeah. Obviously, just sit back and block. But it's really ambiguous. Like the person might get hit and might not get hit. You never know. So what I was saying is that you can easily just use your bullhorn for that as well. Right. Let me just show you. I mean, if she does tanko, you get it. Okay, look. That's how I want to explain. That's why I feel like it's useless because it, it's not really like a good, there's no reason to use it. Your bullhorn does it what, you know, and you don't gotta spend meter. The only time if you want to spend meter is it for that. If you're trying to get the uh, the cancel, but you can cancel into the V-Trigger anyways with this. You're spending a meter anyways, to, just to get the combo, so they're both basically the same thing. Why kill yourself in trying to break out the armor so fast in a block tree? And plus, she can throw you out of that as well. Players can throw you out of those type of tick throw situations. They obviously could tick throw you out of the EX armor. That's why you hold down the the heavy punch and heavy kick. So you can tech. Okay, yeah. Let me show you. So you try to throw it too slow, you get thrown out of it. That's normal. Even when he has the one frame armor, it'll still do the same thing. So it's throwable no matter what. But at least if you're charging, you'll still be able to tech. But doing regular bullhead, I mean bullhorn, will go through a uh, grab. Depending on how early you do it, it could happen. 
So if you're holding it and then he puts you in that situation, like you're on the ground and then he does that, you just let it go. And if you have V trigger, you can make it safe. It is safe on block. It's not punishable. You can do this into when someone's blocking. The reason why things have changed because if I said in my other videos, but I'm going to you know, re-say it again, is that they sped up the um, time of his V trigger. So his V trigger cancels a lot faster than before. In season one, it took forever, his V trigger, to go out. That's why you can combo a lot. So him being able to pop V trigger faster or cancel faster out of it makes him able to do more combos off of, you know, simple attacks now. Like he never was able to do this into that, but now he can. It gives him more time just to do other attacks, basically, and it makes things more safe now. Yeah, you can confirm off of that, but maybe on yeah, on counter you confirm off of it. Let's go back to the bullhorn. Go another frame trap. Okay, this is uh another one. Thank you, Bullhorn 4. You can armor the kick. Some cannons they try to throw me and kick out. It's, you know, basic, basic, um, like thing. It is interruptible, anyways. Cannons can't throw it out after that, anyways. But if you're expecting the character to, like, walk back and do it, because some cannons they don't immediately go for the Mika. A good Karen will wait a little bit to see if you try to press a button after the block screen, then throw the medium kick. So whatever you're gonna throw out, they whiff punish. Or they put you back in pressure. So they'll walk back and hit you again. For example, they'll go like this. And then come back and hit you with the kick. They won't automatically go right away because they know that's not safe. So walk back, heavy kick or forward, medium kick. It's a good way to just, like, it's a throw off basically. Most cameras they do a medium kick, but a good camera will walk back a little bit, walk forward, and try to, like, you know, whiff punish you for trying to throw something out. Very experienced cameras play like that. Alright. Go over the other frame trap. Alright, that one is normally not safe anyways. You can bullhorn it. You can armor it. Obviously, the can um, commits, you'll be able to hit you out of it, which sucks. But most of the time, they don't just confirm off of that like that. And if they do, then it's punishable. But like I said, I don't think it's that useful because basically what the EX armor does is basically the bullhorn. Since the bullhorn has that, um, that real back, which makes his uh, hitbox shrink, it's... They're both almost the same attack. It's just that the EX, I think, is more negative on block. Yeah, it's more negative on block, way more punishable. And it's not as ambiguous as the, the regular one because it has a lot of block stun that you put into. So if you don't practice against punishing the bullhorn, you won't really be able to do anything against it if you do block it. So this is kind of going to be a quick video because I wanted to just get that out that the... The bullhorn used to be used for like really good stuff like I think I have one in the frame traps where Okay, there we go. So this frame trap kind of shows why it's not that useful anymore. So before hold on. So before you were able to armor that block stream if it was one frame It was a lot easier to armor that It just makes it easier so that you don't uh, deal with any ambiguous uh, setup Cause sometimes if you try to press a button and you get hit like that, or you trade, can't recover as fast and is able to hit you again. So you don't want that to happen, so you were able to armor that. But since you don't have one frame armor, you just get beat out by it. You just get beat out and then, yeah, you're back in like an big situation. She's in a, a better position than you are, because you're still in hit stun. And she's just recovering, and then you'll be in, on, you know, on the bad side, you push towards the corner. Now you have to guess she's going to walk up, crouch in medium, or she's going to jump in on you. So you don't want to be in the type of guessing game. I mean, I, I'll tell you, don't be afraid to block the uh, Rochi. is not a big deal. She does have meter, obviously, it's really bad for her. But it's mainly a guessing game that you put into the Rochi. But since Brody has a command guard that reaches her at that point, 
it makes Karen players think as well. So that's why Brody's pretty scary to Karen because he has a lot of damage. And Karen's have to be very careful. Because one command grab could uh, cause the game as well. Because yeah, one command grab causes a lot of things. Even though it's not safe to dash up after, a command grab still can predict a lot of stuff and do a lot for the character. Right. So yeah, I just want to go over that. Just because it's not one frame is a lot harder and it's not as useful. You might as well just use the regular bullhorn. I mean, in that frame trap that I showed, you can armor right away. You can armor that. But you don't want to really be doing that. If you want to punish that, then you have to super that. You have to super right away. You can do that. Because invincible, obviously. I mean, you might have to mash. If you're in a torn situation, it's not a bad thing to mash. Okay, you need to get it out. Your tournament career is on the line. Why not? I mean, some of them might do empties. Like, if they do an empty one, then it's not safe, obviously. But you still have to guess. It comes like a guessing game. So, I just wanted to go over that. The, like, any frame traps that are, like, too fast, like, any light frame traps will get beaten out. I mean, we'll, we'll beat out the, the armor. Like, go over that frame trap. So, if you try to frame trap, I mean, if you try to armor any type of block string like that, you completely get beat out. So there aren't any like useful situations. It's useful for like maybe if you react late on a jump in, you can actually use that as a, a anti for a jump in. Like Fong's jump in, sometimes you can armor that. Depend on one of Fong, because sometimes they like jumping from a far distance. So armoring that causes um, or Alex players uh, is really useful as well, because then they'll get hit. But sometimes, depending on how late you armor the, the jump in, they can recover on the floor in time to be able to to like uh, block and then punish it. So it's really um, ambiguous from there. So I just want to get that video up. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was, wasn't like, um, I know, you know, the viewer that wanted to see what was useful. Hopefully you're not mad about this, That, but it's true. He's, he's not going to be that viable now. His, if he has the one frame armor, yes, he is going to be very good. Now, I definitely will show you why. There's a lot of things he can armor when he has the one frame. Like, he can armor uh, Laura's elbow easier on the wake up after the command grab. But I heard that's going to be uh, turn minus all the time now. That's what I heard, but I'm not sure. But yeah, heard that uh, Laura's meaty elbow won't be plus anymore. So that's a good sign. No more... um crazy guessing games anymore but yeah you can armor that you can armor Karen's frame traps a lot of those one frame like type of openings where you, only super will work your armor could work that's why it was so useful if a good brave player know how to use the armor like that it was very very crazy so yeah I just want to get this video out and hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching like subscribe for more videos and with that I am out goodbye Leave a comment if you have any questions as well. Alright, I'm out. Goodbye.